Welcome to the channel. It's KK Blue with MTG Mango back with another video. Today we have a super wacky awesome deck. Um, this one I have a lot of fun with. There's like five different combos in the deck. So I'll start with a few. So for well, first it's a Lotus Field deck. We've got our four Lotus Field down here. Um. So it taps for three. So Kyora is very good with it. Because you can tap it for three. Play Kyora. And then minus one Kyora and just untap it. So it's like Kyora costs zero mana. But also it has the minus to basically add three mana to your mana pool. So it's super OP here. And then we have Mizzet's Master. Well, other things with Lotus Field to start. We have two Stifle. Um, to counter our Lotus Field trigger. If we want to turn two Lotus Field. And for turn three Lotus Field, we have three Discontinuity. Discontinuity can also come in handy later because, especially with the fa Fairy um, in Lotus Field, you can cast Discontinuity very easily because it's untapped two lands. If you untap two Lotus Fields, super OP, just Discontinuity into a second turn. Um, the other thing is that Discontinuity, we just end up having a lot of mana because this is a control combo build and so we have a lot of things to hold off the opponent so it'll just take extra turns so for holding off the opponent we have one sweltering sun this is really nice because you can cycle it um but it doesn't get rid of everything so that's why it's one of um yeah it's not as good as anger of the gods usually but this has cycling which is really sweet here and we tend to really need that so that's why I'm playing Sweltering Sun instead. Um, one day of judgment, one one day of judgment, one wrath of gods. It's the same thing. Um, just one of them says they can't be regenerated, but that is irrelevant and historic. I think. Um, two doom scar. This is nice because you can foretell it. The one downside to foretell here. That's why I'm not playing four of instead of the um, day of judgment and wrath of gods. Um, is because. You, if you foretell, you can't discard to a Faithful Mending or a Faithless Looting if you then don't need it later. But you can turn three it, which is really nice and historic, because there's turn three wins, which are ridiculous. There's turn three, turn four wins, so sometimes you need that turn three Doom Scar. Now, for the Mizzet's Mastery, Faithful Mending, Faithless Looting. Well, to start with the Lotus Field things, like, if you're not going to use your Stifle, you can just discard it to Faithless Looting or Faithful Mending. Um, because that's, like, there's seven in the deck, you're going to hit it. Um, now for the part of the deck that is Mizzet's Mastery. Um, the, what we're kind of trying to do here, we have all these, like, super high mana cost spells. Um, Genesis Ultimatum is like a draw five, put two permanents that are usually lands, but sometimes they're like a, tef you hit a Teferi or a Kyora. Um, but it's still really OP because you really, because drawing in this deck is super nice. Because you're going to have like a lot of mana with Lotus Field. So you can actually end up casting Ultimatums. Like, I, I, I know you'll need two Lotus Fields for Emergent Ultimatum. That's why it's a 2 of as opposed to a 4 of. Um, but it's really OP with Mizzet's Mastery. Here's why. Like, it's this combo is actually insane. So, say you get one... Um, so, it's with Mind's Desire. Say you get one Mind's Desire in the graveyard. You still have a Mizzet's Mastery in your deck. Sometimes you, you don't need it in your graveyard. Sometimes you just cast it with Emergent Ultimatum. And then get it in your graveyard, but then now I'll show you how the combo works. So, you miss its mastery, Emergent Ultimatum. Emergent Ultimatum, you go fetch Mind's Desire. You're usually against a creature deck. You could you could put like something good against control. So so you get Mind's Desire, Miss Its Mastery, and then if it's a control deck, you get Thought Distortion. Which is really nice, because they can't counter it. And you, re and then you basically just, they discard, they exile their whole hand. If it's an aggro deck, you get Wrath of the Gods or Day of Judgment or Doomscar. Doomscar if it's the late game, because then it starts to get worse. 
Um, so they're going to pick the, either the Thought Distortion or the Day of Judgment, depending on which deck you're against. Then, here's the combo, because they don't, they don't see it. You start by Mizzet's Mastery targeting Mind's Desire. And then you cast your Mind's Desire without paying its mana cost. So, the thing about this is that you'll start by having triggers for each spell you cast. So you miss its mastery, plus emergence of the bl- Matum, plus miss its mastery, so there's four Mind's Desire triggers. Then you hit another Mind's Desire, and that's five Mind's Desire triggers. Now, off this, you can hit any number of things. Often you hit an ultimatum or a magma opus, but sometimes whatever they put back in the deck, whether it's Day of Judgment, Doom Scar, or Thought Distortion, you end up casting anyway. Sometimes you need to gain life, so sometimes you'll hit this, and then they'll put that away. Um, but sometimes you just get this, and it's just really nice. Because against aggro decks or against decks that just gain you life, that, that just deal you damage. Um, I meant deal you damage. This is just super nice, because you have, you can create a 2-2, and then for things like where you're, oh, I need, say I need Teferi in my hand, or I need Kyora in my hand, like, you can get those back into your hand, which is really nice. I don't usually use that function, um, but usually I, I either proliferate so I can minus Teferi, um... (laughs) Which is really nice, but usually I just go with some 2-2 cats, and I gain 4 life, so I can get my life back, and do another, co- and just combo off again. Overall, I think this is like, an, oh, also Magma Opus can make, can let me combo on turn 3, if I turn 1 Faithless Looting, turn 2 Discard Magma Opus, turn 3, like, Mizzet's Mastery Targeting Emergent Ultimatum, Genesis Ultimatum, Inspired Ultimatum, any number of things, even Mind's Desire, and then I can hit a... Sometimes you Mind's Desire into an Emergent Ultimatum, and then hit another Mind's Desire and a Mythic's Mastery, and then just combo from that. It's really nice. Um, for, like, wacky combo decks, I think this is, like, an actually... Like, an actually good... Like, I've been playing this ranked, and it's, like, actually really good. So, as far as wacky combo decks go, if you want to build something like this... I think this is the list. Thank you, and let's dive in.
to make a splash.
something truly spectacular. Nature flows with vigor. to make a splash.
moving. 